So now you have a whole, you've, you've raised a generation of docile, uh, you know, people who will not fight you. When you look at the civil rights movement, when uh, J. Edgar Hoover was looking at, you know, the danger, the biggest danger to America, what did he say the biggest danger to America was? What did he say? He said, Negro unity. And he was spying and making files upon every single black organization. And the first, his first, uh, the very first thing that he did at the, at the uh, onset of the FBI was set up Marcus Garvey for mail fraud. So they use these tactics, okay? They use lies, guile, murder, slander. They do something called um, uh, snitch, snitch, snitch jacketing. A snitch jacket is when you uh, accuse somebody of being a snitch who isn't a snitch in order for the community to uh, go against that person. Okay, these are the uh, tactics of these white supremacists. So back to the religion part now. So now psychologically, when you have a people who no longer have that, that rebellious spirit, I want you to think about this. Now our slave masters, okay, when they saw the rebellions coming, the fear, you know, that, that you know what I'm saying? The fear, because they, when they saw the rebellions coming and they saw that these people, the slaves themselves, I want you to think about our, the, our answers for just one second, the ones who rebel, okay? You're talking about people who are underfed, underclothed, tired. I mean, tired because they are working from can't see in the morning to can't see in the night for no pay, for no, you know, they're eating the guts of pigs that the slave masters gave them to eat. And yet still, they found that energy and that desire to go and kill their oppressors. Do you understand? So what, how do you remove that desire? You know, for, how do you remove it? You teach them the things that they are taught in the Bible. That's how you do it. When you do that, you use the whip less and you use the Bible more. 